Hey guys, it is Kirby here, or Nathan here, today making an early commentary on the, on the Domination Fallen here in Modern Warfare 3. And today, we're going to talk about how to gradually increase your KDR, little by little, by using these simplest things ever. Sure, they're considered noob, I would assume, but they're really counterable by a Assassin Pro, and, uh, you know, they're not the uber, the uber-powered everything, overpowered pieces of trash, things like the... Like the, uh, sni not the snipers, like the uh, FMG9s. Well, basically they are snipers, but... So, let's get started here. Um, all you guys wanting to improve your KDR, I see why. Because, you know, maybe because you, you want to be in a clan, uh, and their requirements are uh, not your cup of tea, or they're too low for you. Their standards are way too high, or their expectations are way too high for you. So, you know, you're trying to uh, get your KDR up. I can understand that. And, you know, people wanting to... Uh, Show their skill. Like here, I have a, I think I have a 1.76 KDR in this game. Not sure. I, I consider that normal. That's close to two. It's probably the closest I'm gonna get to two. But in this game, I ended up being having a five KDR at the end of it. So let's get started here. The first item you want to use is a heartbeat sensor. There's many reasons you want to use a heartbeat sensor. Some of those reasons will be listed on the screen, and some of them I'll say right now. First of all, it's like a miniature UAV. People will accuse you of hacking because you have a heartbeat sensor. Because of, uh, you can, it can see through walls and it can sense people around corners. So, there's a counter to this, obviously, and everybody knows that it's Assassin Pro, and I'm not sure if Scramblers affect this. Get me wrong, and they might be. I'm not sure if Scramblers, uh, Scramblers do this, but here I get a nice, uh, a nice cookie, aka a 4 in 1 airstrike, which I sent to Convoy, by the way. Either way, um, but it is counterable by Assassin Pro, and it isn't overpowered. I recently started using the heartbeat sensor just like a week ago when I came back from a friend's house because he didn't have everything unlocked, so I decided to uh, use the heartbeat sensor and a suppressor, and geez, KDR and everything just gets up. I'm not lying. There's times in this game where I actually shoot around corners because I see him with my heartbeat sensor. So... We've pretty much got done with the first thing to raise your KDR. The second thing is use some guns that are normal rate of fire and have a normal damage rate, such as the ACR. An ACR is an example of a great gun to use. A PP90 is one great weapon to use. It's really considered new, but I have no problem with it as long as you're not camping with a suppressor. But just use a, a gun that has a somewhat high rate of fire, because in this game, rate of fire beats all. If you have a high rate of fire, you're going to win. Something like the MP7 is is only a good choice in maps such as Mission, Dome, and Carbon because they're, they're close quarters combat and you can get two three shot kills but maps like Outpost you can get a five shot kill from across the map which is really really terrible you don't want that that'd be like shooting a pistol at somebody so we've covered those two those two uh, major ones and we can hit on the third one the third one's pretty gonna be a pretty long one and the third one is the the portable radar Portable radar is really technically just a heartbeat sensor, on it's, except it's on a mini map, and it has a bigger range. These things are awesome for search and destroy, domination and demolition because you can find uh, people where they're hiding on your on your flag, and it, and another advantage is that it could see it could see through all the floors of a certain building. Here I get my assault drone just for the lulls of it, but anyways, the advanced I'm mean, not the advanced UAV, the portable UAV it. It is a helpful helpful tool if you want to increase your KDR. It's a uh, it hit it shows you the locations of everybody. It's pretty awesome. But the thing is, like I said, it is countered by Assassin or Assassin Pro, so it is not overpowered. And more than half the people in this game run Assassin. And this I'm starting to run hardline in my assault classes, but in my uh, snipers are run Assassin still. But if you guys uh, really want to um, improve your KDR, I really suggest you use them. So another thing, some special, some cool kill streaks you could use to improve your KDR. First one, as we know, is the UAV. The UAV and manned aerial vehicle is a UAV recon, and you can send. A, it only costs three kills or uh, four points in the uh, in the support. I'm not going to say four kill streak because. Uh, Support isn't streaks, it's more like whoever can camp and get your kills off support. <laughs> but that isn't that kill streak 
um, the only thing I find wrong with it is that it's been nerfed ever since the other Call of Duties because uh, you can't. Uh, they only the UAVs only stay in the map or in the match for 23 seconds now instead of the uh, 30 like in Black Ops, Marvel for two and Mar and COD four. Other than that, they're pretty much flawless. They can still get shot down by uh, by uh, guns and predator missiles, so you have to watch out for them. Uh, for if you get your UAV destroyed, you could go ahead and go get another one. Another kill streak as another one that you pretty much know I'm gonna say right now is the advanced UAV. The advanced UAV shows direction. It shows direction of the enemy players or combatants, if you want to say it's in the you know like technical language, but. Uh, this was this kill streak was originally called directional UAV before the uh, game was actually confirmed as of final stages. Um, in the original stage, it was called the directional UAV. This kill streak will raise your KDR, but it isn't really the easiest to get. You, I mean, you, it supports so you could die over 9,000 times. Dragon Ball Z uh, reference there, and still get it, but. It's it's a 10 kill streak and it only lasts. I think it only lasts uh, 23 seconds. Also, I'm not sure. I think it's a minute, but it's an it's an amazing kill streak. Another thing, another kill streak you could use to improve your KDR is the counter UAV. Counter U this counter UAV will block the enemy's radar. So if you're running hardline like me, you don't have to worry about their UAVs finding you because they're blocked. As you can see right now, the heartbeat sensor I just got a kill off of. I saw the guy, but I didn't know where I went, but my heartbeat sensor helped me. And there's some times in this game, like I said, there's so much dark corners on this map that I just started spamming into the wall and killing people because I saw them on my, my heartbeat sensor. So any of you guys that are accusing people of hacking and uh, you think they're hacking, wear Assassin Pro, and if they can still find you, they're hacking. Because there's people like this, like me, see here, this perfect example here. You can't see him, can you? He's dark. So, he was trying to hide in there. And if it wasn't for my Harvey sensor, I would have died right there. Here, same reason, right here. See, I was tempted to shoot through the wall, but I didn't I didn't want to risk it. So, I see his little toe sticking out, and I think he was in second chance or something. Take him out and get my kill. So, yeah, guys. if you do, uh, Raising your KDR isn't really that hard, depending on how much kills and deaths you have. If you're a player like me that has played this game ever since it came out, it's going to be pretty hard because you probably have a lot of kills and deaths already logged into your profile. If you're a new player, such as like three months from now or two months that you got this game, it's going to be pretty easy for you. You lucked out because you didn't get the game first. You know why it's going to be pretty easy? It's because you have less deaths and less ki less deaths to compensate for. You could easily uh, You could easily get those kills to raise your KDR. And here's another... Same guy camping in a god dang corner, I swear. People are stupid these days. But it's just it's you're gonna your KDR will rise way quick because you have less deaths and you don't have to you don't have to get more kills per game to raise it other than other players that have played this game for a while. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and this tip video. This tip is technically a tip video. And if you want to see more of these videos, uh, just comment or just like this. I've been getting a lot of likes lately. And I'm trying to hit 400 before school's out. I have about two weeks left of school, um, two and a half weeks actually. And we can and uh, this Friday we have a picnic for the eighth graders, and uh, then next week we have a award celebration after that. So yeah, guys, uh, I can't wait to hear from you guys, and I can't wait until summer starts. I'll see you guys later. And this is Kirby signing off. Peace.